Greetings to everybody on this Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm coming to you to talk a little bit about what happens when you are exposed to somebody that may have had COVID-19. Um, truly, any of us at any time could be asymptomatic. So we could be walking around and being exposed to people that have a positive diagnosis or a positive uh, case of COVID-19, even if they don't know it. Um, but perhaps some of you don't know that last week um, at our outdoor pet blessing, it was an outdoor pet blessing, it was not very long. Most of us were masked, we were distanced from one another, we were spread out in the parking lot, etc. Um, but we discovered afterwards that somebody tested positive. They are not ill. Um, they were getting tested for a routine thing that was a medical thing. Um, and it, it didn't happen because they had any symptoms. But once we knew that that was the case, we then had to go back and try and track down who was at that service um, and make sure that they knew that they should at least pay attention to their symptoms or possibly that they should um, get tested if possible. Um, and I really only share that uh, the people that needed to know that before knew that before. I really only share that because it's a good example of how we would deal with this in the future. If something happened at a church event and we found out after that church event that somebody um, got a positive COVID test, then what we would do is we would go back and track back who was at that service and let the people at that service know whether they they may have been exposed. In this case, it was um, it was very unlikely that anybody would have had enough exposure to get them ill, uh, but it's something we wanna watch out for and it's something we wanna be in a good habit of, of knowing when you're, you've been exposed and then knowing how to deal with it. Um, so I'm grateful to the people of this church who did a great job with just uh, being brave and bold and doing what they needed to do and many people tested got negative results. A uh, few people didn't test, but decided just to watch their symptoms at home and they have no symptoms. Um, so at this point, that seems to have led to no further um, diagnoses. And the person who initially tested positive seems to be fine as well. Um, so ultimately for us, it did not turn out to be a major event, but it's the kind of reminder of the circumstances we're in right now that are not always easy and we don't always know how to handle them. Um, but just, it's a reminder of why we're taking it slow and why we're taking it cautious and why we're holding back and not simply saying, oh, everything's normal, let's go back to normal. Um, because we still have to be aware and there are still opportunities for us to accidentally um, be around somebody else that doesn't even know that they're ill, doesn't know that they have this virus uh, because it can happen to any of us. So I hope that you can stay strong and stay firm and stay well. Take care. Bye.